we're pleased to be joined by the, the chief of police of the city of Sylvan Lake, Brian Bassett, joins us once again on the Oakland County Megacast. Chief Bassett, thank you for being with us today. Sure, thanks for having me, Tyler. Appreciate having you on. The last time we spoke, it was one of your first days on the job. You've been you've been on the job now as chief for a few week for a few weeks now. How are things going in the city of Sylvan Lake? How are you enjoying your new gig? Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's been, uh, you know, great to get to know the community, become part of the community. Um, it's a, a, a great town, and I, I, again, honored to be here. So, Brian, uh, Chief Bassett, we are still very much in the thick of the battle against the coronavirus. Governor Whitmer this week had put a greater emphasis on, on states, on states' departments, but also on law enforcement agencies to, in, to help enforce these COVID-19 guidelines in, in public places and in restaurants and, and other businesses and so on as cases continue to be relatively at the same spot, relatively plateauing. But the goal is, to, of course, to have the curve be shrinking, not be maintaining. Uh, in terms of enforcement in Sylvan Lake, has your police department had to have those have a, had to have a lot of conversations with local businesses or organizations or even people about uh, about maintaining these guidelines for COVID nineteen prevention? Well, to, to your point, we've had uh, lots of discussions internally, and what you know the message that we've received from the government and or I'm sorry, the governor and the attorney general is that our role is one of education. Um, and we've done our best when, you know, called to local businesses in interacting with our community is trying to provide as much information and education as we can, because um, we all have the same goal and that's to try and keep everybody safe, try and keep everybody healthy. Chief, one of the things in Sylvan Lake is the lake itself. And you do have somewhat of a sandbar in parts of the lake, and then you have the beachfront as well. Are you running into any issues there with an overcrowding, possibly? We have not at this point. Obviously, it's something that we continue to monitor. Um, but everybody has been uh, respectful of each other, uh, respectful of the requests of you know the, the governor, um, and at this point, uh, people have continued to enjoy the lake. They're continuing to get outdoors. Um, and we'd like to see that, you know, uh, hopefully everybody continues to get outside and, and enjoy this beautiful weather we've had. Chief Brian Bassett with us. He is the chief of police in the city of Sylvan Lake with us on the Oakland County Megacast. And chief, in recent days, we've seen a lot of reports from throughout Oakland County, uh, mostly centered in South Lyon, about the congregation of groups of people, pr particularly teens, for parties and celebrations, and that's been a point of spread for COVID-19. This is also a time of the year as uh, where graduation parties from the senior class are still ongoing, and we've heard also stories about some social distancing issues and mask wearing issues at these private gatherings at people's homes. What do you say to the people of Sylvan Lake and the surrounding area who are having these celebrations that they normally have, these traditional celebrations or these rites of passage celebrations in terms of what they need to be focused on um, and why it's so important for them to follow guidelines while they're celebrating these momentous occasions in a time that we're in right now that's so critical. As I mentioned before, we've seen our role as one of education, one of um, you know encouraging people to stay safe, um, we've received questions about, you know, having parties, having, and what we've done is we've talked about, uh, you know, what their objectives were and how to try and do that as safely as possible. You know, up to this point, um, any celebrations, people have done them outdoors that we've been made aware of, to be clear, that we've been made aware of have been um, outdoors and have been, you know, as safe as possible. Chief Bassett, the police department in Sylvan Lake is really, really does a great job of involving itself in the community, especially in the summer months, there's yearly events every every summer that the police department has been greatly involved in, especially fam the Family Fun Day out at the Sylvan Lake Community Center in the past. And this year, I, I'm a, I happen to be uh, in some of the Sylvan Lake Community Facebook groups where they're posting things that are going on in, in the city. And I've seen a lot of unique events that have been happening there, like uh, small outdoor concerts and, and talent shows and so on that are being done as, at social distancing as well. What do you say to those kinds of community gatherings that keep that close-knit Sylvan Lake community together but are still doing so in a safe manner that prevents the spread of COVID-19 in Michigan's prettiest little city? 
Yeah, to, you know, as you mentioned, um, you know, we, we love to have the, the family fun day every year. Unfortunately, that's had to be rescheduled until next year. But Sylvan Lake has continued to be the strong community that it's always been. Um, and they have had some of those public events. Um, and it, I should say, this, you know, they're, they're privately organized, but where they've done some outdoor concerts and everybody has just in, you know, been outside, socially distanced. And, and it's been great to keep, you know, some of that, that community connection. And I think we all are, are so starved for. So it's exciting to see the community. And it's really, for me uh, personally, as you mentioned, um, it's been a bit of a struggle because I'd love to be more involved in, you know, some of these public events. But right now, um, everything's in limbo and many of those events have been delayed or rescheduled. So it, it's great to see some of these smaller, privately organized events continue to happen. So definitely a hard time to start a new job because you can't yeah. interact a lot with the public. But how are the officers in your department holding up? We are five months into this. It's getting exhausting. How are they doing, not just with the COVID side of everything, but also the shifting of attitudes towards our first responders? Yeah, so, so since I've come in, we've, you know, I've really tried to focus on, because uh, to your point, sometimes some of these community events um, you know, they've been delayed or rescheduled. So I want to make sure that our officers are being taken care of. We actually uh, partnered with um, the state through federal funding to uh, receive grant funding to try and make some modifications to our facilities to ensure that the officers are as safe as possible. Um, so, you know, I, I'm excited about that. We've also tried to update some of the technology in our scout cars, the computer specifically, to make sure that they have the tools necessary as they're, you know, we're working under these stressful conditions that at least that they have all of the tools necessary. And the other thing that I've done uh, here during this time is I partnered, it's a uh, federal grant, but it's being administered through the state. Uh, there is uh, hazard pay for the officers that have worked during the pandemic we've uh, applied for and been approved for that grant. So we look forward to that uh, very soon for the officers. Uh, but we continue to monitor you know, each of the officers because as I'm sure everybody has experienced, th these are extremely stressful times and they've been asked to uh, continue without interruption, without break, and they have done a, a fantastic job and I'm very proud of each of the officers here at Sylvan Lake. Yeah, one of the things that we saw more in the beginning of this crisis, first responders, law enforcement officers spending the night in their car or at hotels or making other arrangements to stay away from their family. Mm -hmm. Any of your officers doing that? And have you had any positive cases that you've had to address? We have not had any officers with positive cases here, um, but we have worked with our partners in the county that if officers uh, have needs to uh, shelter elsewhere because of concerns at home, um, we have those arrangements in place and ready to go at a moment's notice. So uh, with uh, some of the, again, with our partners in the county, we're able to uh, make arrangements at hotels that have uh, already agreed to shelter the officers and also uh, through some of the um, local community colleges and uh, Oakland County, or I'm sorry, Oakland uh, University has made arrangements to house first responders if necessary. So we have, we have those plans in place if needed. Um, at this point, we have not needed them, and I'm grateful for that. Chief Brian Bassett from the city of Sylvan Lake with us on the Oakland County Megacast. Chief, recently the Oakland County Health Department was going out to many beaches in Oakland County to test them for safety, for uh, particularly from E. coli and other and other potential harms. And uh, one of Sylvan Lake's beaches was closed down at that point in time. There's also in Sylvan Lake, for those that maybe don't live in the community or don't venture through the community very often, there are certain points where there are uh, rerouting of traffic or different situations that are unique to the city of Sylvan Lake. Uh, in terms of the beaches, the, the ones that were closed, the one that was closed in Sylvan Lake, has that been reopened? And then in terms of everything else, what should people be aware of when they're coming into Sylvan Lake um, so that they are, pr they are following the rules of the road in Sylvan and not in imp impeding on people's property or the rules of the city? Yeah, so at the end of uh, last week, um, 
Oakland County did uh, test Ferndale Beach and uh, with an abundance of caution decided to close it until they could again test on Monday of this week. Um, after that test, uh, the beach was opened up again. Um, so uh, in, in talking to our partners, Oakland County was uh, really through an abundance of caution. It was very close to their, their limits, but obviously uh, anything over, they're going to make sure that we wait and that water is going to be completely safe. So those tests have now happened on a daily basis and all of our beaches are open here in Silver Lake, we're excited to say. Um, that being said, you know, uh, you kind of mentioned some of the traffic flow issues from 12 o'clock uh, on until the parks close, we actually close down the streets so that it is only open to bicycle and pedestrian traffic. And we do that to make sure that we maintain a very family friendly, pedestrian friendly environment here in Sylvan Lake. So it's something that you're gonna have to understand when you come here, uh, be prepared to walk and enjoy the uh, beautiful summer weather. Summer is starting to wind down, sadly. We're going to be getting to Labor Day here pretty soon. Any plans in place or concerns as people start to gather at, to celebrate the end of summer? Well, and again, as I mentioned, my experience so far in Sylvan Lake and on the lake is that everybody has acted appropriately. Everybody is making sure to socially distance um, and, and, you know, uh, enjoy their family and enjoy the, you know, that time with each other. Um, so I anticipate moving forward that we'll see that pattern continue. Obviously, if it doesn't, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll monitor and uh, we'll evaluate what we have at that point. Chief Bassett, thank you very much for being with us today. Anything else you'd like to touch on before we let you go? No, I appreciate the time, and uh, thank you both. We appreciate it. Chief Brian Bassett from the Sylvan, city of Sylvan Lake with us on the Oakland County Megacast.